All right, it says we are, first of all, we're week two, day two. And it says, my grandma made me a party dress and she made me the school dress. It sounds like Adam Sandler. She made me the school dress too. All right, so how do we fix it? How do we fix this? My grandma made me a party dress and she made me the school dress. Whew. I see a conjunction in here. Does anybody know what, what word is the conjunction? I know I went over this with a couple of you. Brody. And, and is the conjunction. What goes before the conjunction, Brody? Uh, a comma. Very good. All right. My grandma made me a party dress. And she made me the school dress. The school dress? What should that be? Huh? It should be a school dress, right? So I'm going to use a carrot to point to where I want this comma to go, right? See how I did that? Are you guys looking up here? I see a lot of heads looking down at their sheet right now, right? How many corrections do we have in this? We have one, two. Hey, uh, Jack Joslin, what's our mantra? What do we do? We do what? We read, we eat, we read, edit, and write. So you've heard me read it. I'm going to read it again with my corrections now. My grandma made me a party dress and she made me a school dress. Does that read better now? Does it sound better? Yeah. All right. So it looks like we have two edits. Now we're going to write it out, right? That's our final step. Are we doing small and accurate? Are we working on small and accurate? Why don't you hold them up for me real quick? Hold them up. Looks good. I see a lot more accurate handwriting than it looks already look so much better than the first day. All right. So let's take a look now at the second one. It says the dress. For, oh, listen to this. The dress for mine party have big purple polka dots. Oh my goodness. The dress for mine party have big purple polka dots. I hear, I hear mistakes. Come on, who's out? Who's on it? Who wants to get after it? Bryn, what do you, what do you got? Should be my party, right? So the dress for my party have big purple polka dots. Aiden, have should be has, right? Now let's read it. The dress for my party has big purple polka dots, right? We have how many corrections on that one? Two for the first, two for the second. Small and accurate, right? Now we're going to write it out. The dress for my party has big purple polka dots. Polka dots is a funny word. All right, there it is. All right, read, edit, write. All right, so let's draw a line between the prefix and the root word of the underlined word. Then write the meeting on the line. All right, here's the root word. You ready? Unable. My sister spilled paint on my school dress, so I am unable to wear it. All right, who is able to dissect this word? Where? Who can tell me what the prefix is and the root word is in unable? I should see a bunch of hands up at least, right? Uh, let's see. Uh, Chevy, go ahead. On, you have that backwards. Try it again. No. On, on is your prefix. It goes before the root word, right? Able is your root word. Now, what does the prefix un mean? Every prefix has its own meaning. Case. Yes, un equals not. Oop. Un equals not. So, what do you suppose unable? Un equals not. Then what does unable mean, Jack? Not able. Not able. So, not able to wear. Is that what you guys had? That's fine. Circle the meaning of the bold word. Here's the bold word right here. Ready? I know my sister didn't mean to ruin my dress. Now, if I just put this word up all by itself, if I said, hey, what's that, what's that word mean? 
Would you be able to define it right now? Which mean are we talking about? Mean like as in, you know, yes, that kind of mean, or is it mean as in meaning? Do we know? Could we know? No, we, we can't because we're missing words before it and words after it. We're missing all the words around it, which by the way, that's called the context. We're missing the context. That word's all by itself. Now, when we look at it in context, take a look, ready? I know my sister didn't mean to ruin my dress. Does mean in this instance mean unkind or selfish? How do you know? Because of all the context it's surrounded by, right? In this instance, she didn't do it on purpose. Is that what you guys have? There you have it. Week two, day two, DLR in the books. Tadero out.